I'll show you how to make a, a general table. That's the quick one to make. So I'm going to come up here and click under annotation, a general table. And most of our tables are two columns, most of them. And however many data rows you want, maybe three. And, uh, and so I'm just going to put it in here. So there's a data table. And uh, I'll hit escape and then I'll double click on it and you'll see a few things to do. So one thing you can do is go to the table layout, click, and then you can give this a name. Trial. Oh, and they should be capitalized. I'll just call it my demo table. And then if I click on a column and right click it, I can format it. And then I'll call this one um, uh, item one. And I'll call this one item two, just so that you can see how it works. And I can make them wider and stuff. I can do all sorts of stuff, but I'll do that down there too. And then to put stuff in, I just start typing, click, 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 apply, and there it is. And then once I've got, there's some playing around with it, I can stretch this out and stretch that out and stretch that out. And I, there's all sorts of things I can do to make things fit. So that's how you make your general tables. Okay, and again, the ones that you're going to need are inspection notes, standard tolerance, the other ones. So now on this one, I've put in for you a parts list. Let me um, get rid of that general table. And here's where you put in a parts list. Click, 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 parts list, and you tell it what view you want to make it from. And click OK, and there's a parts list, and it just shows up. And then I've got to do a little bit of work to um, to get it to kind of size out well. And then I usually make my... And these ones you can't copy. Oh, I guess I can copy that. That's kind of cool. Most of these then you can also copy and paste it into another file. That's a really good way to do it. And now you just kind of type in here for which ones you need to be able to say and that's how you do a parts list and I think you can copy and paste those and then the last one is your revision block in our parts list we're putting up here just because of the way inventor does it sometimes they're put down here but inventor likes to put them up here so that you can add more parts as you go and the last one is your revision we're gonna do alpha which is letters we will start at a and we'll put it on every sheet in the drawing, too, by the way. You just get it in here, click, and um, make it stretch out so it looks nice, and type in new release. Double click. Release. And that's how you make the different types of tables.